Hey guys, it's Django here. First off, I want to apologize for the spotty upload schedule lately. I had a backup video that ended up covered in white noise. It was quite strange. Uh, pretty unusable uh, microphone audio. For today, um, I thought I would try and answer a commonly asked question on the Reaper community pages, which is how to glide 808s inside Reaper. So this is another reason the video is a bit delayed. I tried to do this using a free cross-platform sampler called TX16WX. And as it turns out, the legato, the mono legato mode, which is how you would get notes to glide from one note to another when you holding down one note and then you play another note that overlaps the previous note, then in mono legato, it would normally glide to that note. And in TX16WX, it made a clicking sound whenever it glided, which made it pretty unusable. Um, on Windows, there is a, another cool free sampler called Grace, which does work. And on the Mac, I am yet to find an option. I'm going to start off by showing how you can do this in Grace but I'll also show you how to do it in plain audio inside Reaper if you have no other choice on a Mac. The reason we can't use Resamplematic 5000 is it doesn't have Portamento. It does, however, have Pitch Bend, so you can get quite far with Pitch Bend. I believe the Pitch Bend range is automatable, so you could, you could have the Pitch Bend range as 12 semitones, so you like pitch up or down an octave but then you could also change that pitch range to like five or seven or something automated so it jumps to a specific note that you wanna to get to. So you could theoretically get it done with pitch bend. It's just not the greatest. It's not a intuitive way to work if you just wanna jam out on your keyboard. So let's start with Grace. I'm sorry to use a non cross platform plugin, uh, especially as I'm actually looking at setting up an old laptop with Linux soon. Obviously I have contact, which you could also use if you have contact, but most of the people asking this question, I suspect are new to production and not looking to drop that kind of money just yet. So here's Grace. Now you can use their browser to go into, I think I actually saved this at some point. You can sort of favorite folders. So I've got my music samples folder, easy to access over there but I'm quite happy with the Reaper browser. And I'd actually played around with some sounds earlier. So I'm looking in the project folder for this project where the samples were. I just deleted all the tracks, but the samples are still saved in my project folder because I selected copy samples to project directory when I was saving. So I was playing with this 808 sound off camera earlier. Um, if you drag it into Grace and play a note, you'll see that it's playing the, the sample at whatever pitch you play it. The sample is already root note C. It's helpful if your samples do have a key on them and then you can just adjust it. So if it says F, you'd have to go down from F, one, two, three, four, five semitones down. So you'd have to just come into the tune uh, over here and go down a few semitones if your root note is different from C. And that just allows you when you play C that it is C. Um, but obviously the sample is already in C. So when I play C, it's C. Now, when I play overlapping notes at the moment, it just plays a chord basically which we don't want for bass. So what you do here is you go to mode. Mono re-triggers the note each time your notes overlap. And legato glides from one key to another while keeping the sample playing. And you can change how quickly it slides using the glide knob. 
On some plugins, this will be called Portamento. The other thing we need to do is turn up the sustain and maybe turn down the release. Um, if you turn it all, if you turn it all the way down, some plugins um, make it so short that you hear a click because the sample doesn't get to sort of finish a cycle. But yeah, this one seems to have, they've sort of put the release into a usable range of values, I guess. So that's pretty simple. Now we have Portamento. And the pitch bend, I think, is already defaulted to 12 semitones. So you can get that sort of tape stop effect quite easily with that. Uh, I'm going to turn my metronome on and hit record. Not the greatest performance. Uh, I'm going to just edit it slightly. I'm going to select them all, quantize them 100%. So that's one way to go about it. Uh, we could also add some pitch bend automation. So I've actually got my pitch bend assigned in Recontrol MIDI. So I can just hit envelope and draw it in. I'll just add a point there and a point there and take this one down. Reset that one. Need a point at the beginning. So that's one way to go about it. I've now automated the pitch bend a little bit. So that's grace. Now we could also go about it just using the sample inside the Reaper's grid. So if I drag it on to a new track, and it's in C, so I was jamming in D just now, so I can pitch this up to semitones using uh, actions. That action was increase rate by roughly 6%, in brackets one semitone, and it turns off preserve pitch. So basically it speeds up the sample and turns off preserve pitch, so that it's playing it at a faster speed, effectively, one semitone higher. I go over that in more detail in my previous video. I also mentioned in my other video, I have different grid shortcuts for one bar, quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. So I'm turning snap back on. I noticed that the initial transient is a bit late in the sample, so I'm going to select them both. And using this mouse modifier, I think the default is shift, but you'll have to experiment a little bit to find it where it gives you the side-by-side the -side arrows. And then you basically are 
moving the waveform within the within the item. So I'm going to start it there. So I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to trim it off. And then I'm going to overlap them like that. And let's see how that sounds. Okay, let's change the, the pitch of this one. Three semitones, five, seven semitones. So upper fifth. I'd like it over here though. And I'll overlap them again. And that kind of sounds like portamento. Was three semitones up, I believe. Going to use that tool again and then crossfade them. Pretty close to what we got with here. We can also do a pitch bend. So as I did it, as I demonstrated in the previous video, if I add a stretch marker and then another stretch marker, and then I grab on the left side where you get the up and down arrows, it creates a ramp. And then you make sure preserve pitch is turned off and then it'll basically do a pitch bend. Go further down. Cool. So it is possible using just audio to create a very similar sequence to you would get in a sampler, but it's a lot less intuitive. You can't just jam it out on your keyboard, which I would prefer. Let's add some drums.
Cool. I hope you guys found that useful. Thanks for watching and check you again soon. Cheers.